Hi friends, Animators here. I'm going to show you how to do line up with a mouse. This is Adobe Photoshop CS6, so I'm assuming you have a basic understanding already of Photoshop. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to scan your picture in and then select the line tool. It might be disguised as the rectangle tool, but it's in the same area, so just right click it and select it. I have the color brown selected here. Make sure it's not black. Once you go black, you can't go back. So make it brown. And then zoom in and go crazy. And there you have it, the basic lines. I've got like a million and one layers now. So what we're gonna do is select the top one, scroll all the way down, hold shift and click, and then control E. And now that made them into the one layer. Sometimes it wants you to rasterize it. To do that, you just right click and rasterize the layer and that will make the whole thing um, flat like this. Anywho, so get a new layer happening and make it white and you can see if there's any parts that you may have missed. Now with the circle part, I'm going to show you a trick to get a really nice circle. You're going to use the elliptical. Make the general shape that you kind of want to make. That's close enough. Fill it in with the same color as your lines. And then you're going to want to go blending options, where are you? I'm an idiot. And you want to stroke it. Hey. Make the size one and make the color that color. Now change the fill to zero and you got yourself a line. Now this one you can rasterize that too and now it's flat. Get rid of the parts that you don't need. And boom bam, perfect circle. And now that's part of it. There you have it, you are done with the face. Now you have a million one shapes again, so do that same thing I said last time. Select all, control E, and now see how there's a box in the bottom right? Exactly as I was saying before, it needs to be rasterized. So right click it, rasterize layer, and now it's all flat. I'll name this one the face, because it is the face. So you got your lines and your face. What I'm going to show you to do to soften the lines a bit and make it look less sharp, to your eraser tool, make sure it's on the fuzziest brush possible, and then change the opacity down to about 40-ish, 30-ish, whatever floats your boat. And then anywhere that you can think of that might need thinning out, just do so like that. Just in the places that end abruptly, especially around the hair. There you have it, nicer looking lines. Now, the reason why I said to make the lines brown and not black is so you can change the color later. If they were black, you would not be able to do this or it would be very difficult to do this. So his hair is blonde. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it like a dark brownie orangey color. So select the poly gonna lasso tool. Yeah, I can, I can speak words. It's underneath the lasso tool. So you might see it as lasso, right click, make it that one. Right, and then we're going to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation. I hope that wasn't too fast for you. And we're going to lighten it up a bit and saturate it. See how it's now bright red? So the color is really obvious. I'm going to make it that orangey brownie sort of color and lighten that even more, desaturate it. But yeah, you can do anything you'd like, but I strongly suggest with the line coloring to leave it until after you've actually finished your coloring. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.